Hello and welcome back to episode 14 of Better Than Napoleon, where we're playing as France in the EU4 1.34 Sweden update. So I was going over some things. First off, let's deal with the papacy. We can just put some more points there. Uh, we are way up on military tech. I think I might just take it. Uh, 951. Sure, we're, we're way ahead, so I'm not even concerned. We're way up on our governing cap, so I don't really want to push that too far. Uh, we could uh, do a bunch of this, so let's go ahead and exploit development. Uh, our governing cap is already too high anyway. This money is sitting here, not being used. We've got plenty of income, so I'm not concerned about lowering our tax income. Uh, we will keep increasing it too as we go and this is also going to let us take our institution which I probably should have done first I did not consider that play but it's not a big deal we are so far ahead in um, our monarch points because we've had such good rollers combat with having the plus one mana point privileges from the beginning keeping our power projection over 50 for most of the game um we've been expanding with vassal so we haven't been struggling with admin points i mean we are in such incredibly good shape this isn't going to cost us very much at all and it's actually going to give us quite a few benefits so by taking all of this tax income which we are making good money on taxes with um everything we have done thus far but being up to 4,500 in our treasury, first things first, we can embrace the printing press, which I think is worth it. Um, it's going to make our other techs um, easier to get as well. Uh, we can't get either one of them for innovativeness, which is very disappointing, but it is what it is. Uh, we can upgrade our cavalry, so let's do that. We are going to march our units to the south to get ready to pounce on Spain um, so here's the plan we are going to attack Sweden we are going to reconquer Norway's cores and we are also going to co Iceland so we can get that province back for them and then yeah, Austria is still willing to join in on wars so we won't do that we're gonna white piece Spain that is the plan I could call in Russia. I don't think it is necessary, so I'm not going to. Now, Austria is no longer a valid rival. That's fine. Let's attack. Let's revoke our embargo on these guys. And we are going to try and get ourselves on this quick peace with the Spanish. Did they join the war? Oh, Spain did not join the call to arms. Oh, that's even better. That is even better for us. I did not realize Spain wasn't going to join. It might be worth it at this point to call in Russia then, because... I just don't really need to draw this war out. I have no reason to. Um, let's go with war, war score costs versus other religions. And yeah, we'll call in Russia. Russia will stomp them for us. So Russia, why don't you go ahead and help out? And this way I can spend some time drilling my armies. I think my subjects should be more than able to handle everything that's going on. And we can focus ourselves on this kind of stuff over here. So we are just under our governing cap now by integrating Aragon. And we could go ahead and yoink some dev. Uh, I think it might be worthwhile. It'll help out in the long run. Consolidating the dev in our core provinces is definitely going to be better for us. 
overall. And it'll help with our governing capacity. Just a touch. Not 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 a not a lot. Not a crazy amount. Just a touch. Then we'll build up our courthouses and our newly gained provinces. And then we can start looking to consider some cores. Uh, this fleet, why don't you come and combine with here? Um, is this my only army? I have this army too. You guys can meet up right here. And then we will even conform you to the template. Make sure all of our armies are in good shape. Sienna has been excommunicated, but sadly, I have a truce with them. Thanks, Pope Man. Thank you so much. Lithuania has gotten a big chunk taken out of them. Smolensk has been released. Uh, Poland, we've got a truce. We've got a lot of truces. We're doing a good job juggling truces, spreading out aggressive expansion, and taking out countries as we can. Uh, Bohemia, let's boost our trust some more with you. Just make sure you guys are going to be nice and helpful. Uh, how's Austria doing in the Protestant League War? They are winning it pretty handedly. I would like to run just a little bit of interference in that. So if I can... I would very much like to get on Spain as soon as I can as well. Hopefully I can end this war with Sweden very fast. Pull, calling in Russia, that was kind of the point. Was really pushing for an end to this. Um, let's get up onto Iceland so that I can give this province to Norway as well. We'll bring our main fleet around. Uh, you guys need a general. Here you go. Uh, who else is involved in this war? Dithmartian and Lunenburg. Uh, Dithmartian, I can peace out right this second. Uh, are you one of the centers of reformation? You're not, so... We'll just take your money and your war reps and trade power. And why not force your religion back to being Catholic? Up here... Still doing good there. Uh, is there anyone we can sell our institution by, to, by the way? I always forget about doing that when I can. Uh, Denmark would like it. Russia can't afford it, I'm guessing. Yeah, let's sell it to Denmark. Denmark will do, do right with it. Uh, we do have our courthouses already all built up. I guess then building up some more workshops is in order. Now that we're kind of moving away from a tax-based economy more to a production and trade-based economy, that's going to be very important. Hopefully I can take this province very fast. Uh, why don't you go ahead and blow the walls open? Um, this extra 10 um, trade trips. Why don't you head down and join up with our main trade fleet? Sweden already wants peaced out. Um, I'm not quite ready yet, Sweden. I need Iceland first. And then we can definitely, definitely help you out. Lunenburg, you are going to give us your money. And you are going to force your religion and war reps and trade power. And we're good there. I'm just waiting for the Siege of Iceland to finish. And then we will crush these Icelandic army. And our Diplo points are full. So now we peace out Sweden. Uh, first things first, this is going to Norway. And then we are going to return all of Norway's cores. We'll also give them Iceland. 
Um, and I'm going to give them this province over here as well. A theologian half price. I'll take money again. Uh, I did waste some Diplo points there just to get this island in order. Make sure this one is also going to Norway. Okay, so Sweden, let's peace out. You're going to give that to Norway as well. You're going to give back all of their cores that you hold. Uh, you're going to give up every core that you have on these provinces. You're going to give us a as much money as you're willing to give us. And that's it. War's over. Norway has been reclaimed. And now we can bring you guys back home. And we are going to immediately now pounce on to Spain. So by declaring war on Spain... We are drawing Austria into a war, and we're also drawing Sweden back into a war. We're going to call in both of our big boys. And there we go. Right back at it. Right back in good shape. There is a fairly vulnerable Swedish fleet here. Or Spanish fleet here. Oh, nope, missed the opportunity. Alright, so... Now we focus on Austria. Just sending our entire army to absolutely clap them. Uh, we will come back down to the Talon Dockyard, and I'm going to finally unify these guys um let's see here 600 500 so what am i going to spend these admin points on i might as well just well what's my next group going to be it's probably going to be influence so i probably shouldn't have spent all the diplo points there but i don't think it's a big deal uh let's immediately just pounce on this Get admin tech. I know we're taking it way far ahead of time. But we're probably going influence. Let's see. This will give us national unrest and vassal force limit. And it should combine. Oh, also with innovative. So, yeah. I think influence is definitely the way to go. We've already been playing heavy with vassals anyway. Um, and, yeah. I'll even take that as well. Uh, we do have some ability now to core up another province or another state. Uh, we can spend these ducats on just build up some more shipyards. I think we're just going to want to load up on those, get our naval force limit capped out as high as possible. Oh, um... You guys should have been going home at war. And I am going to teach you guys a lesson for attacking my navies. Clap them up. Send our ships home to repair. And then we are way ahead of time, so go ahead and bombard these provinces. Uh, Sweden is already begging for um, sweet release, so 
I'm going to give this province back to Norway as well, because it should have been Norway's. Although I could give it to Finland. Finland has a claim on it. So it'll be cheaper for them to core. So let's give it to Finland. Uh, we can even go ahead and really consider what we can push here. province wise so Finland also has a claim here uh, Finland should have a claim here as well and they have a claim on Stockholm and then the Danes um, don't have oh, they have claims here well, they at least have this claim so this can go to Denmark. And then let's just take a look at what the damage AE wise is. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of unhappy people if we do any of that. So instead, we'll take money and war rep. You know, I will take this province though. I mean, you know what? I mean, these people just don't really care about this stuff. It's actually very little AE, considering. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll take some more reps from them as well. Making Finland nice and strong. Um, our subjects are currently dealing with the Spanish. We are crushing the Austrians. The more sieges we finish, the better. Uh, let's go ahead and bombard. No, we already did that. You can get on this fort. And you can bombard those walls. We're just going to keep pushing our way in. Our goal now is just to deal damage to Austria. We want Austria to be hurting as they continue the League War. So hopefully they lose it and then we can immediately dismantle the HRE and save ourselves a ton of AE issues in the future. Uh, we did a good job avoiding them for the most part early on, but yeah, we're going to need that now. Uh, France has breached into... or Spain has breached into France... So let's send an army to meet them head on. Uh, we can immediately attack this Austrian army. Donzig separatists should get handled by my allies. Uh, let's immediately jump on Vienna. And there we can also barrage the walls. The Spanish fled because they are not men, apparently. <laughs> and they are wussies. Come on, you guys controlled the fort. You were on a fort. Come on. You guys didn't want that. Siege of Vienna's over. Real quick, we're going to utilize this to absolutely just crush their navy. I don't want them to have anything left. They want I want them to have no will to continue fighting, and I want them to lose this war. The Protestant League. It does not look like it's going to happen, though. Um... What are you guys doing, Brandenburg? Hungary's now the papal controller. Uh, we can go ahead and lower subject liberty desire. We're not really struggling with that anyway, but... We can do it. Uh, let's convert... 
Polotsk. That'll get them in much better shape for us. Um, I'm just going to keep them occupied and... You know what, I should go and crush their armies. Where are their armies at? Maybe my subjects will handle their armies. To Everlasting Friendship. Louis the Twelfth de Valois now holds the throne. And his son, Louis, is our heir. Perfect. Tech cost discount too, huh? Oh, he's he's nice. Taking over right at 18. Uh, we can go ahead and boost our stability. Let's head on down to Toledo. And we will blow the walls open there. Um, we can have you guys head back to the Strait to Gibraltar. So Tunis, all right, perfect. Tunis and the Ottomans broke their alliance because the Ottomans attacked the Mamluks. So there we go. That makes Tunis nice and vulnerable. Could look to get into war with them, but I don't think I want to at the moment. Um, that also means the Ottomans would have one less alliance if we would go to war with them, and the Russians would help. How strong are you, Russia? 67,000 versus 157 in Tech 14. Oh. I will go ahead and dish out some military access. That should help out there. Uh, you guys come up and deal with the Austrians. Please and thank you. Oh, there goes my allies doing it for me. Did that say our truce with England is up? I think it did. It is good. We can move right back in on England as soon as we get a chance. Alright, let's go ahead and blow open this wall. Let's block their gold mine production. Um, let's go up and attack their army on this fort. Nice, easy win. Wow, we, we got that fort real fast. Huge win against the Spanish Navy. Austria is ready to peace out. Let's see here. You have no army. I want all of your money. I would like war reps. I would like trade power. And let's have you guys... I'm going to say, I could have them like release a Steery or something. I don't want to have them release one of these little subjects. That's not a big deal to me. Yeah, I think that's good enough. I just want to, I just want to wreck them. Yeah, hopefully Brandenburg can fight their way back. I'll give them some money. Uh, who else is in the Protestant League that would be worth boosting? Venice. You know what, Venice? How about you guys get some money too? Do some damage to Austria. I would like it. I would like it a lot. Um, offer knowledge sharing to Russia. 
Let's make sure the Ruskies are getting themselves nice and strong. Tech wise, or eh, advisor wise, probably want to just stick with a trade efficiency guy. Let's bring him up to four. I think that's a good place to settle. I mean, I could just... We're, we're doing so good on points, it seems um, kind of pointless to push that hard on them, but... We'll get ourselves a Tlemcen Vassal. I think that would be useful. Blow open this wall. Could use the use them to reconquer cores on the Moroccans. We're gonna absolutely crush the um, Spanish as well. Uh, Bohemia is now the papal controller. Uh, we can go ahead and proclaim a holy war. Keep our manpower nice and high. Uh, we could take Diplo Tech. I can wait for it though. We'll get it for as cheap as possible. Um, the Austrians did win the Protestant League War, so that is sad. That is definitely sad for us. So Trier, the Palatinat, Bohemia, and Mainz. I think we would be able to ally all four of these guys. Uh, Mainz, yeah. Trier, yeah. So we can ally all four of them. We can... Well, actually, we don't need to ally the Palatinat because they're allied... I'm going to finish this war with Spain, though. As soon as I take this... As soon as I take this... Oh, I'll take the corruption. There we go. Siege of Dahar is over. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do Influence. Okay, so, what do we want? We want Leon's cores back. Right? That is definitely something we want. We also would like... Hopefully I can release Tlemcen from somewhere. So Tlemcen from Oran. That, they have some cores left. They've definitely lost some of their cores. 1651. These are their like core core provinces. So we'll take uh, this province right here. We'll take a bunch of money from you guys. Um, I think I will establish my first colony. So we'll take one, two, three, four. No, you don't have that. Or I can't make it a core, it's too far. Okay, so... There we go. We'll take that from them as well. Uh, we could take some of these colonies and get ourselves in the new world. Let's just keep them together then. Get five colonies down here and then we will take war reps from you and um, yeah, that should be good. It was a nice, huge win.
Um, we don't want to core you up though because we are releasing a subject from you. We are going to release Clemson. Uh, you guys are all going to come up here. And even though we have a truce with the Emperor, if we ally a couple of these guys, um, I should um, just whatever. Uh, let's use up our spy network on them. Uh, this spy network we don't need anymore. We'll get our alliances in order with the electors. At least the ones that aren't allied to the Austrians. And then we just need to find someone in the Empire to attack so we can destroy the Empire. So yeah, the Palatinat will join in. Uh, Trier will actually join, so... Allying them was kind of pointless. Um, we don't actually need the... other electors to join. We just need them to be our allies, right? I think that's how it works. Trent is not controlled by you. Palatinat is not controlled by you. Oh, they did give Trent an electorate. Okay, there we go. Immediately pounce on you. We'll do a conquest. We'll call in Bohemia. Austria's already weakened. Uh, we are going right back to war with Spain, too, so uh, you can jump on here immediately. You guys just need to get over here, and we'll get Spain out of this war real fast. Oh man, what was this army doing over here? I forgot about them. Uh, we will Royal Mary Russia. Blow open this wall. Get our fleet. up here to help with the siege and you guys are going to immediately pounce on as many Spanish forts as possible we'll blow them open and we will push to get this war done quickly okay you want to pounce on me here Okay, you're getting reinforced, so we'll just retreat back into our homelands uh, where we're protected. Can't core anything. We have plenty of money to play with, so let's go ahead and do a couple of those. Those were in provinces that I don't think matter, actually. We'll build up some more workshops, and I'm going to go ahead and cancel those court shops, courthouses, because now that I think about it, uh, those are provinces in the New World, and we don't want to put courthouses there. Blow open the wall here.
here too. Major revolt. And we have some generals dying now. Dijon A. That's over here. Dijon A, okay. I'm going to let that just hold off as long as possible. They pounced on me on this fort. That is unfortunate. Uh, we can call in Trent. I don't want to do that, though. Uh, you guys need a general. Uh, we have three openings. You guys need to get down here to help support these armies right away. And you guys, you also need a general. That's why you lost that battle so badly. Uh, we'll give you guys the siege guy, and why don't you just head up the Navara? Okay, there are those rebels. And Bohemia is struggling a little bit, but oh, I'm not coring any of that stuff while I'm at war here. Come on, take these sieges. Take them, take them, take them, take them, take them. Was that enough? That was enough. Peace out, them. Those cores will continue. And then you all need to make your way up into France. Immediately crush that army. We'll send one of you on here. One of you needs to get over here. Uh, you guys need to get up here. You actually have four siege. You get on there. You guys have a two siege guy. Just stand back right now. And let's go ahead. Oh, this is a long episode. I am so sorry. I wasn't paying attention at the time, but I'm going to end it here. Um... We'll finish this war in the next one. If you liked the episode, I'd appreciate a like. If you really liked the episode, I'd appreciate a subscription. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Goodbye.